Um, this is a junk motor that I got. So, C16 truck motor. Pretty much the only difference you might come across is maybe one, maybe you have an industrial that ha that doesn't have jakes. This one's an over the road, so it does have jakes. That's the only difference pretty much that you're going to come across. But they come apart and go together the same way. So pretty much all you need is a ratchet. Thirteen millimeter volt bolts on the valve cover, as you can see, and just it just pops up. Okay, in this setup, being that it's over the road motor, this is your Jake's right here, your Jake setup. Pull that out and just pull these bolts here. This one, this one, this. Now that I got the Jake brake housing out, as you can see, easy, 13 millimeter socket. Now this is your rocker assembly. You just grab a hold of that, it'll pull right out. Rocker assembly out, as you can see, sitting right there. Now, obviously you want to do this, try and do it in a clean area. I don't care about this motor, so I really don't care about doing it clean. So anyway, there's a bolt right there that you're going to pull out. Take note that there is a spacer on this bolt right here. And if you drop it, it can fall down into the oil pan. I've been there, done it, it sucks. It'll fall down right here and go into the oil pan. So just pay attention when you're doing that. 14 millimeter. So, pop that off real quick. there's your spacer so just be careful with it now you can take a heel bar just like this drop it down and just under the injector hold down and just pop, pull up take note this one doesn't have it because it's been taken off but there's usually a plastic piece with two nuts into it if you pull both the nuts off it comes off just like that then just pull up there's your injector that's all you got hey guys well thanks for watching i hope it helped if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask. Um, I do Cat Cummins, Detroit, whatever you need. I'm